To me, one of the worst cleaning jobs in the whole house is cleaning grout. If I had my way, there would be no grout. So in this video, I'm gonna test cleaning grout the natural way with baking soda. It's really inexpensive, easy to find. You probably have it in your house right now. This is a mixture of baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. I started with a half a cup of baking soda and a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Baking soda is mildly abrasive, so it helps remove the dirt that is stuck in the porous grout surfaces without causing any damage. It also has a little bit of bleaching property to it. You're gonna need a spoon. I'm gonna put on gloves. The last thing you're gonna need, and I think this is one of the most important things, is a grout brush. This is the one I have. I'll put a link to one like this in the video description if you don't have one, but this is key. Then I have a teaspoon. This is um, our entryway, and so it gets a lot of traffic, a lot of walking, and the lines are really dark right here. They're supposed to look like this. This is from another video that I've done, so these are still clean but I'm gonna remove the rug behind me and get started. So we're gonna start at the back and work our way forward. Okay. Previously I had a video that used toilet bowl cleaner, but I was looking for a more natural solution. That worked and my floor looks really good still, but the chemical fumes were not good. I'd leave that one to the toilet bowl. I'll link to that if you wanna check it out in the video description below. Okay, you need to let this sit on here for five to seven minutes. You know, by the time I finish this part, then the part I started with has already been sitting for that long. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with a grout brush. When I did it with a toothbrush, it just took forever and it was so much more work. If you want, you can have some clean water that you can dip your brush in to rinse it off because you'll see that it's getting grimy just from the little bit I've already done. But baking soda is cheap, easy, and effective. However, you'll have to do a lot of scrubbing if you don't have a good brush. Okay, now you just need a damp cloth to wipe this up. So I'm just gonna use this microfiber cloth. I also have some clean water here so I can rinse out my cloth. you can see how great it already looks so i'm getting the payback and the satisfaction from cleaning this already so the way that you can do this without hurting your knees without having to bend over is something we discovered from doing it a lot ourselves and that is a steam cleaner you know we love steam cleaners i love the dupre neat that's what i have and that is the secret along with the brush so i'm going to put a link to diana's video showing you that technique if you want to watch it and see exactly how it's done I don't have to hunch over at all. I just get to clean like this. I mean, I might as well be vacuuming the floor. After you do this, you probably want to mop the floor, get it totally clean, and then seal your grout if you need to. Uh, that's another job I don't like to do, but it will help keep it cleaner for longer. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching and now i'm going to put a link to my famous how to clean an oven with baking soda video right there and we'll see you over there